Yo, what's up guys? It's me again. Um, surprisingly, after that last video, I got a couple subscribers. So, I thought I'd have actually put out a real deck. Um, just showing my shirt, because I don't want to put my cards on the floor. I have every team shirt, minus Sensui. Um, I gave that to my best friend when we played the game. He still has it. And today the deck I'm going to be showing you is Rakugikai. If anybody has played this card game, you know that Rakugikai is is one of the best teams that this game has. Um, they mill. This is probably one of the most consistent mill decks in the game. Uh, this deck is through Alliance, although there are no alliance cards in this deck um, you don't really need anything from that set um, just a little disclaimer I am proxying three cards but calm down because it's not like I'm proxying three grim determinations and I'm not proxying like cults or anything the one thing I am proxying though is villainaire wages because I do not have villainaire wages I really need that card and if anybody has a Villainer Wages, I'm willing to trade for it. And the other two cards I'm proxying are Daunting Infernos. And I'm currently working on a deal to get to it, the two that I need. But every other card I have in this deck is real. So Rakuik has a mill deck. I'm going to start off with uh, this item card, Double Block. Um, I, I can search it, put it in the winner circle. Um, I don't have to pay for minimum damage. This is what this card does. So, any one of my attacks, it's always doing one point. This is just my spare counter. I just have fighter in training because it's my favorite card. Um, I always had one in every one of my decks. Um, just use that as my spare counter. This is my proxy Villainaire Wages. In case Alliance, I don't know. I just like this card, but this is Villainaire Wages. If you guys don't know what Villainaire Wages does put it in your winner circle um, if I win a match I draw three cards if I lose a match my opponent draws three cards and this card is a win-win situation for me because since I'm milling usually in this game both people have a villainaire wages so it's either I draw six or he draws six so it's a win-win because if I draw six I draw six cards but if he draws six that's me milling six off of his deck so this card's amazing win-win situation I'm going to go for the team. Uh, Roto, he's from Betrayal. Awesome card. Um, oh, and if you guys don't know what Rakuya Kai team bonus is, it's everyone on my team with Rakuya Kai um, team symbol against 2,000 defense. So his defense is 7,500 base. His attack, 0 for 2,000. Discard top players, discard top card, both players' deck. And this is why this card is amazing. Sideswipe. I can attack the sideline. So pitch two for four. Uh, minimum damage to anyone. I can just start picking your sideline off while I stall and mill you. So this card tanks and he can get through your sideline. Next, um, these are in no particular order. Um, Chu, 13th fighter. This is, in my opinion, the best Chu in the game. Um, it's from starter deck. It's a hero and villain. Um, this attack is, is why he's so good, partly. Um, if this attack deals minimum damage, it deals two points instead of one, so it's two points no matter what for two cost. And his sideline effect is also why he's good. It's, um, I pick anyone on my team that doesn't have a Kuyukai team symbol, and they gain it until the next step. Or until the next draw step. So. But I always play him fourth, so it's, so it's always until the fourth match. Next is Zero. Uh, this card is a staple, one of the staple characters. His attack, Flames of Power. Um, part why this is so good is the minimum damage for free. And then next turn, Flames of Power says if, uh, if I use if I use uh, Inferno in, in my next turn, they mill top five. And Yoko is just, I think, a staple on any team. He speeds this deck up so much, I can pitch my hand whenever I have a dead hand and just just go through this deck so fast. And Chu gives him a Kukai symbol, so he also has 7,500 base. Okay? 
Now I'm going to go to into the events. Um, Team Recruit Kai Hidden Power. Amazing card. Two Spirit. Until my next draw step, my opponent can't deal me more than one point of damage, and I can play it in my graveyard. So, if I have this in my hand, I play it. Next turn, you, you can only deal me one point, and then during my next turn, I can play from a discard pile. And I have three of these in my deck. Um, I have three of these in my deck, so I technically have six of them in my deck, because I can play from my, from my discard pile. Um... Next is Admist, amazing card for Rikuyukai. If I have Rikuyukai team bonus, I gain 2,000 for the rest of the match, and it mills top two, just a mill card. Stop it, one of the best Rikuyukai cards. Um, I play it when my opponent attacks, and then I gain 2,000 defense, and if I have Rikuyukai team bonus, I draw two cards. So, yeah. My opponent tries to work out an amazing combo to try to get me two points or whatever, and they finally get me 500 over. I have a stop at my hand, totally screws them up, and I draw two cards. So three stop it's. Next is a Daunting Inferno. This is the card I was talking about. These are my amazing proxies that I printed off the internet. This card is, in my opinion, the best Rikuyu Kai card. Not one of the best, the best. One spirit. Mill top four. Um, it has another effect that you can mill two and put it back into your deck, but I always mill four. One spirit for four mills is just amazing. So three of those. Um, lost. It's just an amazing card. Um, uh, people play reincarnation, but I just don't like having to pitch my hand. I just like choosing. Two spirit isn't a lot. Raise your team IQ, and very another good mill card. Um, discard the top two cards of your opponent's deck. If the, if the cards are different types, I draw two cards. So, worst case scenario, they mill two. Recruit card challenge. It's just a good milling card. Discard top three, I shuffle it back into my deck. King Yama's Wrath, staple in any mill deck. Discard the top five. <clears throat> Empowered Emotions, amazing card. Uh, discard both players' hands. And if my opponent's fighter is a villain, he mills top five. So even if he's not a villain, I can do my whole turn and then just pop his hand before I attack. Next, oops, a lot of people don't run this card anymore. I just still think it's an amazing card. Um, if I don't attack, I play this at the end of my turn and I shuffle 10 cards back into my deck, but you can only play it once per game, so that's why you only play one. Two flashback, I get four events back, so my deck is all mostly events. Here are the other two hidden powers. Faces of Sensui, this is an amazing card. If I'm a hero, I gain five spirit. If I'm a villain, you lose five spirit. And if I'm a hero and a villain, I can also discard a card. So I have, I have two villains, and then I choose a hero and a villain, and Yoko's a hero and a villain. So, if they get called out or something, faces a Sensui, and worst case scenario, you lose 5 spirit. Okay, these are, um, this is pretty much just the stables. 3 halt. I have the fancy halts. Uh, Chroma's Last Stand, stable, this is just signed by one of the playtesters. Villainous Energy Staple, Burst of Power Staple, I'm Calling You Out Staple, Substitute Staple, Recuperation Staple, Bullseye. Some people don't run Bullseye, I don't know why. Um, I just think it's amazing. It's a mulligan. This is a mulligan. If you don't like your hand, you get a new hand. Okay, on to the techniques. I only run six techniques. Three Energy Release. This is all Spirit. Three meditation, and then I run three items. I just run three sakias. So pretty much, this is just your standard Rikuyukai mill. This deck is really consistent. It's about fifty-one cards, I think, in total, including my setup and filling your wages and bullseye. Um, it's really hard to get through this deck. Um, I played Rukuyukai 
pretty much all throughout the series. I've played every set um, competitively. I've played Ghost Files through Alliance competitively. And I played Rukuyukai almost every set. The only set I played different was unfortunately Alliance. And I played a Yomi Mill deck, which was I thought it was amazing. And I got top 15 at Worlds with it. And that was the last tournament. So after that, I didn't have a chance to rebuild my Rukuyukai, but now this is it again. Also, um, there are some techie things that I would put in this deck. Like uh, maybe an all, all for one and one for all I would put in here. But I just don't have any room for it really. Maybe take out a recruit. I can always take out a uh, hidden power. But uh, I just think that card's too good. So yeah. Um, that's pretty much it guys. I'll try to make another deck. Uh, I want to do my Queen Mukuro deck. That's the other deck I play. I play Rukuyukai and Mukuro. So, next time I'll put together my Queen deck and I'll show it to you guys. And also, if you guys want to play, uh, play against me. I play any set. Uh, I'll play up to any set you guys want. I'm always down to make any deck for whatever. And if you guys don't have all the amazing cards I have, like meditations and energy releases, I'm always down to just make my deck not overpowerful. I'm always down to balance my decks just to have a fun game. I'm not trying to steamroll through anybody competitively. This game is purely for fun. I'm grateful to find any opponent I play, so that's why I just like to balance my decks. So yeah, uh, I would love to play against anybody. I'm sorry this is dragging on. Oh, also, one more thing. I'm gonna make a trade video. I gotta reorganize my binder. It's everywhere. I'm missing, like I have the slots missing. I'm gonna reorganize my binder and I'll put a, bi a, a binder video up, just so uh, I don't have to make a new list on Pojo. So thanks, guys. I hope you guys actually watch this. And if anybody has any suggestions, I, that would be awesome. But I doubt that it's gonna happen. So see you guys.